Raptor skins and today I'll be showing you how to apply a Raptor skin skin to the steel tumbler. Uh, this process is pretty much the same for all of our tumblers and products for cups, so you can follow this process regardless if you have this particular model or not. This model does have a, a numbered sheet with it and we'll start with number one and then work our way up. Number one is at the bottom of the glass, and we'll just use this ridge line to help us guide the first application. Trying to keep the same distance the entire time, and that looks pretty good. I'll just lightly press down on it to make sure that we have a nice solid connection. And we'll move on to our next one. This is piece number two, and you'll see that it has a little bit of a curve to it, and that's so it fits the contour of the cup. And we'll want to start the same spot we had our last piece, and leave about a credit card width in between the first piece and the second piece. We'll use that bottom bridge again as our guide to make sure that we're straight And I can pull up and down to kind of adjust as I go if it starts to come out of line. That's pretty good. You can see that I have a little bit of wrinkles here and a little bit of bubbling. That's okay. Just make sure you don't uh, swipe side to side. You'll want to push these bubbles and these wrinkles out or else it'll fold and uh, the skin will stick to itself. So it's important that you work them out to the outward edge of the skin like this instead. And uh, on some tumblers we'll have raised lettering or emblems or those types of things. Uh, to really get your skin to stick properly and, and so you can kind of see that, you can use a heat gun or a blow dryer just to lightly heat up the skin and then you can uh, work the skin into those creases. It doesn't take much heat, just a little bit will do you. There you go. We'll move on to our third piece, and not all tumblers have this third piece, but this particular model does. Uh, this one is a little bit harder to apply, but as long as you follow that bottom line from your last piece, you'll be able to apply this one pretty easy. So we'll find our crease here again and start in that same spot and just line it up. Again, credit card width apart from our last piece. You leave too much of a gap, uh, we'll start overlapping later on. So you want to make sure that you do it right the first time. Get something like this where it's a little bit harder. Again, we can use our heat gun. Lightly warm them up. We'll move on to our final piece, our fourth piece for this particular model. And we'll use that last piece that we just did as our guideline again with about credit cards width part in between. This particular model has a little bit of a concave shape, so you'll kind of notice that the edges will not lay flat right away, but that's why we have our heat gun with us. So you can see on this model there's a little bit of a ridge here, I can barely touch it with my finger. What we'll want to do is just slowly work this down. If you have to, you can heat it up with the uh, heat gun or a blow dryer, and that'll help you push those edges down. And that's how you apply a rubber skin skin to a steel tumbler.